part of setting up and running migration plans using docket migrator is configuring what's called a migration profile. Migration profiles contain additional settings beyond source, destination, and schedule. To configure migration profiles, we log into docat, click migration over on the left, and then click on the type of migration we plan to run. In this case, I'll do a SharePoint migration. Then up at the top, we click profile settings. There will be a default profile for each of the different sources that you can use in DocEv Migrator, and each of those profiles will contain different collections of settings. If I want to create my own profile, I can change any of these settings and then save it up at the top. So as an example, do I want to use a DocEv filter policy to determine what specifically will be migrated within my selected scope? Do I want to migrate alerts? Do I want to migrate workflows? And how do I want to handle things like the Manage Metadata service? Let's say yes, I do want to include my workflow definitions. And over on the left, I'll click on Mapping Options. Mappings allow you to transform things as they go from source to destination. For example, you could create a column mapping that takes a source column of a particular data type and transforms that into a data type that's different in the destination. A text field becomes a yes-no field. You could change content types, so documents that are labeled as a certain type in the source become labeled as something different in the destination. You can map templates. You can even map users. Ron Delaney's name is on all of these files in the source, but Ron Delaney no longer controls those files when we move to the destination farm, so we can actually remove his name from the metadata and put someone else in place. Domain mappings, language, and even list name mappings. So again, all about transforming from source to destination. If we click on advanced options, we get things like site look and feel selections. Maybe I want to keep all my sites looking the way that they did in the source farm. That way it's less disruptive for all my users, but they can go in and they can change that. Owners of those sites can go in and make those decisions. I'm going to upgrade them to the modern look in the destination. Do you have a folder structure in libraries that you would like to collapse? Do you want to even modify some of the default character length settings that are in place in SharePoint? Based on all the changes and all the choices I've made, I can now at the top click on Save As. And in addition to saving this, note that you can save as many of these as you require. So if you have different settings needs for one site collection than you do for a different site collection, you can modify the profile and then do another Save As so you can select it as part of that particular site collection's migration job. So I give it a name and I click Save. I can now see that profile name up at the top, and I'm ready to use it as part of setting up my migration plan. Keep in mind one thing, these particular settings we looked at here are only for SharePoint migrations. So if you're doing file system to SharePoint, if you're doing Lotus Notes to SharePoint, you will see I need to configure different settings. Thanks for watching this short video on configuring a migration profile in DocAv Migrator.